it really comes down to three very basic, very simple steps. They're so simple that most serious people will neglect them. Many people will feel that they're too simple to be believed. They're too simple to be trusted. But I have worked with this exercise for many years and I can validate to you personally its effectiveness. Step one, write down, again, using pencil and paper or pen and paper, write down a list of the things that you really, really want in life. Refine this list. Spend days or even weeks on this list if you feel so driven. The point of this list is that you should be ordering the things, starting with the most important that you want in life, in a way that is completely self-disclosing and honest. It's a private exercise, as are the other exercises that I've been describing to you, because there is a great value in doing something without seeking the approval or the approbation of other people. And among those reasons is that you should feel free and you should feel at liberty and without any inhibition in writing down a list of what you really, truly want in life. Be unembarrassed. The truth must be accompanied by a very brave absence of embarrassment. There's no one to convince. There's no one to persuade. There's no one to seek peer approval from. This is your exquisitely private exercise. It should fill you with a kind of joy. This is your opportunity to write down exactly what you want in life. Once you feel you have your list well formulated and you feel it's about right, it doesn't have to be perfect and there can be changes to it later and there can be additions, but once you feel that it's in a place that has real integrity and real truth, then you should commit your finished list as part of step two to a very short um, note card or a pocket pad or something that you can carry around with you. It's not that you need to be practicing brevity, it's that you should have something that you can hold in a, in a front or back pocket. So take a card, an index card or something else, or take a small notebook, which may be easier, depending on your writing style, and write down a kind of finished version of your list. Again, there's always opportunities to amend it, and that's fine. But write down a convincing, integral, finished version of your list. And carry it with you everywhere. Think about it all the time. Read your list at least three times a day. In the morning, just as you're getting out of bed, at midday when you might be taking a lunch break, and in the evening just before you lay down to go to sleep. Make the list your constant companion. Make it into almost a kind of pocket shrine in a certain sense. Dwell on it, think of it, and again, Make a practice of reading it three times a day, morning, midday, and night. Third, and finally, remain silent, tell no one what you're doing, and express gratitude each time items on that list come to you. And they will come to you. They will come to you. I feel very, very convinced of that based on my own personal experience. Why? Why should writing down your desires, carrying it around, reviewing it, remaining silent, why should that do anything at all? Well, for one thing, I firmly believe, as I've been alluding at other points in this course, that we are not frequently honest with ourselves that we are deeply inhibited in terms of discussing in, internally with ourselves what we really want in life. And the act of clarification is part of the magic of believing.